surface. This place seems familiar. I think I saw a bit about it on the news, back before the war. Yes, construction was completed mere days before the war. We were able to survive and continue our operations only because our creator made us fully self-sufficient. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, Green and brown possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. That's the second time you've said that you remember something before the war. I think you're a little confused, darling. You simply can't have been alive back then. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Why did Dr. Gray give you these unusual personalities? Genius is restless, darling. It abhors stagnation. Dr. Gray was tired of the standard Mr. Handy personality. He looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration. And we are the result. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. You repaired the old Weston plant, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, such a gentleman, too. I simply must give you something. Here, 
You can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! Well begun is half done. Seems to be growing well. I need to assign someone to this. Wait. Another admirer comes to see me. I need to assign someone to this. Well begun is half done. Garden is run entirely by robots. 